Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up Grace Point. Happy Thursday to you. Here we are, ready to go. And do you know what today is? Anyone, anyone, give me a guess quick. What is today? Today is the National Day of Prayer. That's right. So I figured that's what we would pray for today is America. We'll join with everyone who's going to pray today in regards to the National Day of Prayer. Praise God. So wherever you live, we're here in good old Southwest Missouri. Um, There are usually prayer events happening all across the country. So I encourage you guys to go to um, one of those events if you can or not. Uh, A lot of times, usually what happens is that they take place over the lunch hour, at least traditionally over the lunch hour, typically in your town. So um, good morning. Wake up Stella Maynard. Wake up Kevin. Wake up Grace Point. Kevin and Jessica Helm. Wake up Grace Point. Rick Maynard. Helen George Taylor. Heather, good morning. Good to see you guys. Sorry for being just a few minutes late. You know the routine for me. Good old Pastor Amaya. He's just got to... Oh, I'm a zombie in the morning. Uh, Anyway, so today is the National Day of Prayer. Go check out an event. If you're in the Carthage area, there will be uh, at the county square, 12 o'clock. There will be an event there. We'd love for you guys to come out. Our staff will be participating in that. All of our staff, all the staff at Grace will be participating in that. Try and unleash a big old anointed prayer there today if I can. And then, like I said, uh, in, in your area, I know Stella Maynard, you're up there and Nevada. I don't know if they have something in Nevada, uh, but usually, like I said, usually in most cities or areas, you can find some type of National Day of Prayer event going on. If not, just pray for the country, okay? So God bless you guys. Nine out of six is on there. Wake up, Grace Point. You guys waking up? I'm definitely waking up. Man, we had last night, we had the youth had a weenie roast and marshmallow roast, and that was Oh, we had like a lot of kids last night. They were super pumped, super stoked to get back together and hang out with each other. So anyway, that felt uh, that felt amazing to see a bunch of youth at our church hanging out, worshiping Jesus, having a good time, right? And it's going to be awesome to see you this Sunday morning, right? We're going to be back live, live, live at uh, Grace Point. So that is going to be very, very cool. We have two services, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. We also will have everything online. Well, you know, we'll have our Facebook Live services. So if you never want to come to church in person again, praise the Lord. I mean, you can just keep watching online. Just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, and then the other thing is uh, we will have, put this up there. Bam! Grace Point Grounds. Come check out Grace Point Grounds. This Sunday, we redid our fellowship hall and, uh, all right. Oh, not yet. That's right. I'm sorry, Stella Maynard. I should know that. Uh, Anyway, so uh, come check out our newly remodeled fellowship hall. I know we don't have Sunday school, but check out uh, Dr. R.B. Maynard. We redid his room as well. This was one of the first rooms we redid. So we kind of did all kinds of crazy stuff. Some, Some of it you'll notice, some of you won't notice. I mean... We did everything, man. We painted the curb, the, 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 yeah, the curbs. We painted all the curbs yellow. I mean, so those are bright, shiny yellow. You probably won't even notice. We painted the curbs. Uh, Kelly Craywick, she painted all the handrails white. I mean, it's just looking beautiful, looking beautiful here at Grace Point. Go to gracepointag.org. You can give tithes and offerings. Give the missionaries there. Thank you for that. Thank you for your support. Grace Point Daily YouTube channel. And all our stuff at Facebook. So there you go. Wake up, Grace Point. Good to see you guys all today. National Day of Prayer. Let me bounce over here to um, Pastor Rachel. Whoa. Everyone say, oh, she looks so pretty. Okay. (laughs) Yes, I'm ready to gather too. So I'm going to bounce over to the nationaldayofprayer.org website and just show you guys some things and we'll pray together. Uh, Anyway. It, this theme this year is God's glory across the earth. Habakkuk 2.4. This is not the main page. This is, I clicked on the page, how to pray for America. But anyway, this is kind of a cool website. Let me bounce back to the home page. Just showing you guys this stuff just for fun. 
Uh, but this is just a bunch of different stuff. Click here to watch 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern. Looks like they have, they're they going to do something tonight, uh, service tonight. So you can watch that later on tonight. They have a bunch of different articles, some videos. So, oh, there you go. It looks like they have a big thing going on. National broadcast. Looks like they have a broadcast tonight. So, they, see, I didn't know that. So I'm glad I bounced on this website with you guys. So you can check those things out. And uh, they have some tools, they have videos, and all kinds of stuff you can check out. Wake up, Grace Point. Wake up, Calvin Tatum. Good to see you this morning, brother. All right, so there you go. But I'm going to bounce over to this one, just how to pray for America. And that's the page I was on there originally. And this is just showing you how we can pray for America. Uh, so let me read this, and it'll just show you different, different things here. It says, God is sovereign and nothing comes as a surprise to him, whether we face fluctuating economics, threats from abroad, unrest at home, or other troubling circumstances. Our Heavenly Father is not caught unaware. Through prayer, we are able to tap into his wisdom, strength, protection, and peace. He stands ready to respond to our needs when we humbly ask for divine intervention in the affairs of men. As we pray for America, whose Pledge of Allegiance recounts that we are one nation under God and whose current currency states that it is in God we trust. We want Americans to encounter the God who rules over their country. He who forms the mountains, creates the winds, and reveals his thoughts to man, who turns dawn to darkness and treads and treads to the highest place of the earth. The Lord Almighty is his name. He is the one who gives us this promise, Second Chronicles 7.14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land as we humbly and diligently seek him. We'll be changed and we'll see transformation in America through prayer. Amen. So they give a list here of things that we can pray for, how to pray for America. They talk about seven centers of influence in our nation. They have the government, federal government, state government, uh, local government, military, media, business, education, church, uh, and family. All right. So I am going to pray over those things today, and I would like you to pray for those things today. You can go to this website, website, excuse me, at some point later on today, and you can pray for those things. And uh, you know, one of those might really grab your hearts more than the other, uh, but just just make that a matter of prayer today, Amen. We need God move, to move in America. How many of you know that? <laughs> Notice the first one was government. We definitely need revival, renewal, revival, Amen. So we are going to dive into this. Uh, that's all we're going to do today. Pray for America. I'm not going to go. On and on. I've noticed that our wake up grace points usually go. Good morning, Stephen Booth. Wake up grace point to you. Go 15 to 20 minutes. This will be a little bit shorter. But thank you guys. Thank you for praying for America. And I'm going to bounce over those so you can see those again. And again, you can go to this website later on. Post some stuff on your Facebook page, your social media stuff later on today about the National Day of Prayer. You ready to go here? Let's just let's do it. Let's not even waste any time. Any more time. Oh, a little on there. Good morning, Rita. Wake up, Grace Point to you. We're praying. It's it's National Day of Prayer. We're going to pray for America. Ready? Let's begin to do this. Could you just begin to pray with me right now? Man, whether you want to lift your voice in the spirit, you want to pray in other tongues, whatever you want to do, let's just begin to intercede and pray for America right now through these seven phases today. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you today. Lord, we acknowledge you today. We lift you up. We lift you up in, in specifically in the country of America today. Lord, we have acknowledged you as a country. We have in the past stated that we will put our trust in you, that we, we will be one nation under God. And Lord, not just any God, but the one true God. The I am, the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus Christ. Father, we just want to pray for our country today. We first start off by praying for our government, Lord Jesus. Your word says, pray for your leaders as well as the judges in our courts. Ask God to grant them wisdom to act with integrity. Lord, we pray. We pray for our leaders today from President Trump. God, we we pray for uh, Vice President Mike Pence, all of our senators and uh, congressmen, for governors. We are praying, Lord Jesus, that you will 
be with them, God, that you will grant them wisdom. And Lord, Lord, we love what your word says. Your word says to, that they would have wisdom to act with integrity. Lord Jesus, we're asking that they would be drawn to you, that they would get saved, that everyone would come to know you and have a personal relationship with you. And we pray for this, Lord God, over all these areas. Number one, for the federal government, as we, we pray, Lord Jesus, for the, the cabinet members that... Uh, President Trump is picking for many of these different uh, areas, leadership areas and task force that he's putting together. Congressional leaders, Supreme Court, Lord Jesus, uh, how pivotal that is to our country. We pray for that. Lord, we pray for our state government today, for the uh, state of Missouri, Lord Jesus, for our governor, executive leaders, legislative leaders, judicial leaders, Lord Jesus, our local government right here in um, Carthage, Missouri. We're asking that you move by your power and your spirit. Let's pray next for the military. Just you, just begin to pray with me, and just just uh, out of your heart, let a, just a prayer rise up in Jesus' name. Uh, the Bible says He appointed military officers over the people and assembled them and encouraged them with these words: "Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of the king of Assyria and the vast army with him. With him only. With him." With him only in the in the is the arm of the flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. Lord, we pray for courage and dependence on God for our military today, that you would touch them, Lord Jesus, the ones that are overseas right now, the ones that are um, in different areas that are just that that we don't even understand, even though we don't feel like we're in war. We know that their lives are on the line each and every day in some of these different areas. We ask for perseverance to endure hardship, Lord Jesus. The, the, the difficulty of being separated from families and those kind of things. Divine protection, Lord Jesus, as some of those military go out each and every day and um, the, the real potential danger of landmines or just physical harm that might come to them. God, divine protection, God, wisdom, confidence, Lord Jesus, <clears throat> to just uh, stand in you in Jesus' name. We pray for the families, for the wives and for the children today, Lord God, and the, the burden that is. God, I don't even know, really know what that's about. I've met military people that have talked about the struggle that is to be separated from families. Lord, touch them today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray for our media. Lord, we pray for media today. <clears throat> we know that that is one of the most pivotal and influential places in our country is media. Lord, we, we and, and God, we think of right now, I think of just news media. And all the volatility and the um, sl sludge, God, the things that are, are are coming out of our media, Lord Jesus, protect us, Lord Jesus. Your word says, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. Lord Jesus, I pray that we would, uh, that you'd continue to raise up Christians in the media. We know that we've seen some of these amazing movies unplanned i can only imagine god i think of all these movies that have done really well and that you just continue to bring powerful movies and media, uh, christian media into the lives of people and god we 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 bless those that aren't honoring the lord to get saved god to come to know you god not not bless their business but i bless them to come to experience you that their life would be changed and they'd be turned around in the name of jesus Let's pray for business. Lord, today we pray for the businesses in America. Your word says, I have filled him with the spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, ability, and expertise in all kinds of crafts. He's a master craftsman, expert in working. God, today all of us, we work in business. Those of us that have jobs, we go to places of business. Help us to be salt and to be light, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would just continue to bless the businesses that honor the name of Jesus. Think of Hobby Lobby and Chick-fil-A, some of those that have just stood for your name, Lord Jesus. Bless them today. Raise up mighty Christian business leaders. We pray that over our children today, that you'd raise up amazing business leaders. Father, we pray for education. Let's pray for education. Uh, Lord, we think of what's happening right now in our schools with COVID-19, Lord Jesus, the kids that are home. Father, we speak your name, God, over the educational system, over our teachers, things that are happening there, Lord Jesus. 
Thank you, Father God. A, a, yes, a return to truth, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Your word says, if you call out for insight and cry out loud for understanding, and if you look for it as silver and search for it as hidden treasure, then you'll understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Thank you, Father. Let's pray for two more things. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to pray for the church. God, I pray that this would be a time that the church would thrive, Father God. I, God, I am speaking your name over our congregation today. God, I'm believing that grace point. God, will go forward, God, that we will, that we will see a move of God. And not just see a move of God, but, but see a collective move of God. Uh, uh, in the entire church, Lord God, we want every church in Carthage to experience you and to encounter you powerfully in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And finally, close by praying for business today. Let's just lift up the businesses uh, or family today. Excuse me. Uh, it says, if a house is divided against itself, the house cannot stand. And we just pray for families today, Lord. We pray for marriages. We pray for children, Lord God. And we know that one of the, all these areas, the enemy wants to attack. But we know the one place the enemy wants to attack is the home unit and the family. And so, Lord, we just speak your name into that. We think of last night when we had all of our youth here. And as we see those young people, things that they go through, the struggles, God, we, th we just want you to move. So, Lord, today we lift up our country. Today is the National Day of Prayer. And, God, we want something great to happen in our nation. God, we don't, we don't want blessing. We don't want fun. We've been blessed. Lord, what we want is you to move, Holy Spirit. So thank you, Father. We give you praise today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Guys, thanks for praying for just a few minutes. National Day of Prayer. Again, I encourage you guys, let me bounce over. You've seen more of this than me. Uh, again, just I want to encourage you guys that you can go to that website. It is, let me look at that one more time, nationaldayofprayer.org, and you can check out that stuff. And just be in prayer for our country today. How are you guys doing today? Did you have a good day today? Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Uh, and sometimes we're called to not pray for each other, but we got to pray for our country. So awesome. You guys love Jesus today? You love Jesus? Amen. I'm believing for God, a move of God for renewal and for revival. So wake up, Grace Point. It's been a good day. Thank you for joining me for just for these few minutes as we lift up our lifted up our country. It's going to be a beautiful day. Again, I can't wait to see you, 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 this Sunday morning, Grace Point, live. 9 and, 11, 9 and 11 services. You're going to be there? Come on, guys. Bring the whole family. It'll be great. This has been Wake Up Grace Point. Talk to you guys soon.